Hi, hi. Time to look at the classification of drugs. Drugs get classified basically on how they affect your body. So there are depressants, there are stimulants, and there are hallucinogens. And they all fall into one of those categories. What I want you to do is, without looking on the internet, any of that kind of stuff, have a chat to the people on your table, but create a list of all the drugs that you know of. Legal, illegal, doesn't really matter. Whether you know their real name or their street name doesn't matter either. Just list as many drugs that you can think of. Give yourself a couple of minutes to do that. Pause this video so that you can do it properly and then come back. All right, once you've listed your drugs, you're now gonna try and work out whether they're a depressant, a stimulant, or a hallucinogen. So you need to create yourself a table like this one here. So take the time to draw up a table that has this many columns and rows. Throughout watching the rest of this video, you should be able to find out what a depressant is and write your own uh, definition here. Find out what a stimulant is and write your own definition there, and so on and so forth. And then that big old list of drugs that you wrote, you're going to then try and classify them from what you understand to be each of the different types of drug. Any that you're not sure about, just chuck them in the end of the, and that's fine. But above all, can you please go ahead and try and highlight all the drugs that you understand to be legal. Some are legal with a prescription, some are legal when you turn of a certain age. Whatever it is, have a crack at that as well. So, let's find out a little bit more, shall we? Firstly, we've got depressants. Now, depressants affect our central nervous system. That's essentially your brain and your spinal column because your brain sends messages and it goes down the spinal column and it goes off to the different parts of your body to do whatever, you know. You decide you want to kick something. So your brain says, I want to kick that. And it sends a message down to your foot and then away you go. Now the problem with depressants is though, it slows down those messages, which is great when you're in pain and you go ahead and take some pain medication, it slows down the messages telling you that you're in pain. Not so great when you're trying to do things like, oh, I don't know, drive a car and you need to react to stimulus as it's occurring in front of you. So depressants have got their good and their bad side. In small quantities, they might just make you feel relaxed. They might make you a little drowsy. They affect your concentration, your coordination may become affected. You're probably thinking, mm, what's some good examples of a depressant? Well, we've got uh, our opiates. So things like heroin, which is also known on the streets as things like smack, H, brown sugar. Then you've got things like morphine and codeine, our more medical related drugs that help us with pain management. You've got other drugs as well, things like alcohol, considered legal at a certain age. You've got cannabis as well. Those of you probably know a little bit more, it's a common name as marijuana or weed or pot or Mary Jane. The problem though is when it's taken in higher quantities, that's when things like panic attacks, paranoia, aggression, vomiting, comas, and even death in high enough quantities. So it's worth having a think about that. Ah, stimulants. Stimulants, they speed up your brain. So they're the exact opposite of what's been happening with depressants. They speed up the messages that are going around in that brain of yours. And they can make you feel more alert, more awake. They increase your heart rate, your body temperature goes up, and your blood pressure can go up as well. And examples of stimulants can include nicotine, which you know is in tobacco, cigarettes. Then you've got your amphetamines, which are things such as, oh, you probably know them as uppers and speed. You've got cocaine, or blow, coke, crack. And of course, the popular one, ecstasy. 
E, X, skills. You know, the effects though include things such as a suppressed appetite or loss of appetite, anxiety, insomnia, so the inability to sleep. Long term effects can be addiction, cardiovascular events like heart attack. I mean, it sounds not like not much of a far stretch when your heart rate, your body temperature, and your blood pressure are all going up. That's a lot of work on that heart. And in psychosis as well. And the last category, of course, is hallucinogens. And these drugs are going to alter the way that you see things or the way you perceive the reality around you. They're going to mainly affect your senses, so your five senses, and your emotions. And they can cause you to see or hear things that aren't always necessarily there either. So you're probably thinking, what kind of hallucinogens are you talking about? They could be things like cannabis, which is also a depressant but it has got that quality as well. And it could also include LSD. And of course, these, these guys over here, the magic mushrooms. Short-term effects from hallucinogens can be things like an increased heart rate, uh, nausea, so not feeling that great, intensified feelings, uh, an altered perception of how long time has been going. The long-term effects though are speech problems, memory loss, weight loss, anxiety, and depression. All right, so hopefully you had a go at filling out that table, listing your drugs, categorizing them. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pair up with someone, which is always fun, and you're going to pick a drug of your choice. It can be absolutely anything. Try and go for one that's on the list on the next page and create a poster that covers the following things. You need to be able to tell your audience, which is going to be your other classmates and other people that will enter the room where the posters are put up. You need to say whether the drug is legal or illegal, whether it's a depressant, a stimulant or a hallucinogen. So what category does it fall under or how is it classified? Then tell us how it's going to affect someone who consumes that drug. Is it going to be, what short term effects are they going to have? What long term effects are they going to have? And tell us any interesting facts that you've learnt whilst researching about your drug. So you can pick anything, magic mushrooms, LSD, ecstasy, cocaine, nicotine, amphetamines, cannabis, heroin, morphine, codeine, alcohol, anything. Go for it. Pick a drug, pick a friend, and create your informative poster. I'm expecting them to be done before I get back. Good luck.